Hi, Simon here, and welcome to another video. Uh, this is just like a quick intro for this project I made. It's called Photovox. It's a three episode show for my school's live show, OK You Live. And I liked it, so I pretty much decided to put it here on YouTube too, because it's cool, I think. This is like my first time delving into documentary-ish style uh, filmmaking, kind of. I'm not sure if it counts. Um, and yeah, it's basically just me chasing my friends around uh, while we talk about photography and how my friends like make their photos and their creative process and sort of like a little behind the scenes of how a photographer works. Because I thought that was very interesting and I wanted to make something out of it. And I had the excuse to make it because of this uh, live show. So. Enjoy the first episode, and more will come, hopefully, in the next weeks. I guess I like photography because it allows me to show people what I see with my own eyes. Like, of course, everything looks the same to people, but at the same time, everybody sees things differently. And, you know, a, the side of a building might not interest anybody. It might not draw their eye in, but it draws my eye in. And then when I show people my work, I get to show them those things. So I don't know. I just think looking at other people's photos is a nice way to see the world through other people's eyes. and. With my art, I get to show people what I see, and it's just sort of, I like to share. What are they all doing over there? They have I people. just always look for weird people, just weird things going on. I look for, I don't know, the street preachers with their wild signs that I love so much. I look for people dancing, people, I've seen people in costumes just walking around. I walk around downtown, so there's always something interesting to catch. Um, I'm originally from Woodstock, Ontario, not too far from here, but now I live in Toronto and I love this city because it gives me a lot to shoot. I grew up surrounded by photography. My dad always loved taking photos and I got my first camera when I was probably about seven and I've just been shooting ever since. I love digital and film photography and I'm always trying new things. Uh, my favorite thing to do is street photography and in the end, I want to do uh, photography for fashion magazines and fashion photo shoots and things like that. So that's my goal here. I guess my thing is too, like when I do my little, I shoot a lot of people in the street, but I try not to get like faces or anything in it when I can because I don't want to be too much of a creep. So I don't tend to shoot in the park because people will like stare at me and I'm like, <laughs> um, I don't know why. I just look for things that are like not that interesting typically and I try to find a way to make them I really like to shoot animals, but there's not a lot of that in Toronto, I feel. I always look at the squirrels and I think like, how like crazy everyone. would I look if I was just sitting around shooting squirrels? <laughs> I have a lot of pigeon shots, actually, from a little while ago. Some pigeons there. <laughs> I really like that white pigeon. That's what I mean, like beauty in the mundane kind of thing. Like, a pigeon is like nothing. They're everywhere, but I have a bit of a pigeon problem and obsession, uh, just so everybody knows. I'm weird. 
I tend to shoot stuff straight on or like at a corner to get like perfectly straight parallel lines and try to make it look more like an art piece than a building. I don't know why. I don't know what my obsession is. I don't really know a whole lot about architecture or anything of the sort. So. Again, a 50 millimeter lens probably isn't the best lens to shoot this sort of stuff with, but it just allows me to be a little more discreet on the streets and more compact, easy to keep. I, I don't know, I end up on Queen Street a lot, but there's not really a lot to shoot on Queen Street. I'm a little too busy. I think Spadina is where I shoot the most. Do you, do we want to head that way? Yeah, sure. Should we go back this way, maybe? Dundas to the school, and then I pretend I'm doing class, and then I go home. <laughs> so I could be bugging them. Interesting. <laughs> in the middle of her room. <laughs>
have like direct sunlight or shadows or whatever, I'm like, ooh, I gotta get a picture right away. at least one anti-masker and we got him or anti-vaccinator I suppose <laughs> oh yes oh yes oh yes what? I almost wanna if, if that guy stands up with his sign again because that's more anti-mask people over there I might cross over there <laughs> I got a pretty good picture of that guy putting the sign in the back of his truck. I don't know if he'd be happy about that picture, but um, he doesn't want me to wear a mask, so I don't care. <laughs> weapon of choice for today. It's a Nikon D5600. I got it three years ago on sale. Um, I'm not much of a gearhead, which is funny for being a photography major, but I just like to walk around with my 50 millimeter lens that keeps it nice and compact. Um, I usually shoot in color, but I've been shooting in black and white on it lately to replicate film for one of my courses. And yeah, I'm not very serious. I just walk around with the camera and the lens. I don't own much more gear other than a tripod and I do most of my photography on the street so there's no need for lights or reflectors or anything I just work with the sunlight and go home when the sun goes down <laughs> Uh, spot in the city to shoot is anywhere up Spadina around between Spadina and Queen and Dundas there's just always so many people there always something crazy to see there's so many markets and colorful things and interesting architecture if you look up just there's always something very busy and I like that my current photo inspiration is Chris Shepard uh, a photographer I follow on Instagram and he works out of the city of Toronto and he does sort of the same thing as me. He does a lot of walking around and taking photos of very mundane things in a very interesting way. Uh, and he displays at the Bowsy Gallery by OCAD, so maybe check him out. But in this time where I can't really be out shooting people in a studio as I would really like to, he's kind of my inspiration to give me something else to shoot. <laughs> 